What up, homies? Welcome to Silverback Atmosphere. My name is Jojo, and today is day three of 365 days to the best shape of my life. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> so today was supposed to be a rest day due to the PT test that we took yesterday. Uh, but let's just say it was anything but a rest day. <laughs> but you all know the deal. Before we get into it, you gotta check this shit out. You see this guy? This is the homie Asta. Asta was born without magic. And while he was an unbelievably hard worker, he just couldn't compete with those born with magic. A peasant, an outcast, and to the world, a failure. This is Asta before he liked and subscribed to Silverback Atmosphere. But this motherfucker right here though, look at this dude, ripped from his head to his asshole, flying around on his sword like the demon that dwells within his grimoire. This is Asta after he subscribed to Silverback Atmosphere. Be like Asta, never quit, and always strive to be the best. Surpass your limits and subscribe to Silverback Atmosphere. Now back to the video. So today, I decided to do yoga with the belief that it would be a simple and calming process. <laughs> oh. But it wasn't. Uh, to be honest, I thought it would be a good way to stretch out uh, my body without feeling like I was just sitting and doing stretches. You know what I mean? Like the touching the toes and this this stuff and things like that. Uh, so I thought yoga was a good good way to uh, get my mind to believe that we were doing something different while also staying productive. <laughs> but to be completely honest, I feel like my body is going to be hurting even more tomorrow <laughs> due to the amount of work that we've been putting in just over the last day and a half, two days, you know? So I got a couple of you know random highlights and tidbits to show you from uh the yoga session that i did today uh, i try to get my camera in a neutral position but um you know it just sometimes shit doesn't work out so it's a little here it's a little there but uh it's definitely still worth somewhat of a watch uh so enjoy <laughs> so we started off with just the simple breathing process inhale exhale um i inhale through my nose exhale through yo look at them rows yo naughty you did a banging ass job girl look at that hair oh shit but the simple process of inhaling and exhaling working on our breathing and things like that um uh ignore the spot on my wall <laughs> it is where some uh, paint decided to come off the wall, but we won't get into that. We don't need to talk about that. Moving on. So here we were doing some circle shits. You know, you were supposed to inhale as you went one direction or inhale with your chest forward and exhale when you were back. And I just kept doing it the wrong way. So here we were doing cat cow. Inhale when you were in the cat position exhale when you were in the cow position look at that arch do boom baby uh so yeah it's just a simple breathing process so right here she decided to say get on your toes and lift yourself up and hold your body up from your toes in your hands and as you see i instantly start dying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too funny. Oh god. Oh, I don't mean to laugh at you, man. Uh but yeah, that was definitely a struggle. <laughs> oh man. So over here we go into the downward dog and we pedal our feet. Uh you know. Uh, also ignore the the rip in my in, in my in my in my couch futon in my food couch uh, that's that's uh, my cats doing All right. so this is just child's pose you know 
I kept looking at the camera to make sure that I was in frame. Uh, but yeah, child's pose, very comfortable position. Always feels like I'm stretching my body out when I'm in child's pose. All right, so this is when shit started getting weird. So she was like, go in the, in the downward dog, kick your leg up and sweep it around the back. And you can't see it, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just straining <laughs> as I'm trying to hold my leg up and throw it over my back. Uh, this poor guy. Look at all that back you got. <laughs> this was a good stretch that we had here. Um, I felt it all in my what's it, my hamstrings, uh, my calves a little bit. Um, it felt really, really good. It felt really, really good. So then we started. I don't know what this is called, so I'm gonna just call it the baby, the baby cradle. <laughs> uh, I felt like she said it, but I don't remember. But we did this for a while. Um, boy, you got some nice feet. Uh, but we stayed here in this position a little bit. We rocked, uh, back and forth, things like that. And then we finished it by breathing through, uh, the rest of the, you know, the rest of the session. Um, it was very interesting to say the least. I had a, I had a decently hard time. <laughs> uh, I was pretty exhausted and I was actually sweating a decent amount. Um, but I am definitely excited to, to do some more of this. Yeah, that was, that was too funny. That was too funny. Rewatching that, like, it's one thing to be doing here, but watching myself do it is hilarious. Um, that was about a 30 minute session. Uh, very, very interesting. The stretching was a little complicated and she picked up the speed fairly quickly. I was like, I still don't know what I'm doing, but she picked up the speed fairly quickly and I had to adjust. Um, I also had some times where I just, I, I couldn't hold a position too long. Uh, you know, I just didn't want to hurt myself or anything like that. Uh, or I just couldn't, you know, I just couldn't do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Um, but something that the instructor said towards the end of it uh, resonated within me. Um, she said, this is not an easy process. We tend to avoid the hard things in life in favor of the easy, and that is how we become complacent. When you become complacent, you can never improve, you can never be better, and you can never reach your full potential. That was kind of all the motivation I needed, you know, to just finish strong, finish the day strong, finish the year strong. It was just, I don't want to be complacent. I spent the last five, almost six years being complacent and just kind of waiting for life to finish uh, when there's still just so much life left to live. And I want to experience that. So let's not be complacent, homies. Let's continue to grow in whatever way is best for us. You know, whatever that may be, let's let's just continue to strive for greatness. All right, homies, I'm gonna go stretch after all that stretching that I did. <laughs> Tomorrow, um, Let's uh, do some light weight lifting. That sounds fun. Uh, we'll see how my body's feeling, but I can definitely do a little something, something. Let's see how that goes. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already and make sure you subscribe. Uh, also, if you're finding this somewhat, you know, entertaining or motivational or, or just interesting, uh, share, sh share this shit with your homies, you know? I already have a ton of support and the more the merrier, but more than anything, I want to be some form of motivation for others, for people who have done the process that I've done, where you say you do something and then you fall back and you say you do, you want to do it and then you fall back. I've continuously done that and me having to upload a video every day saying what type of workout I did you know, my mental health, 
um, just how I ate, how I progressed, how I failed. I would love that. You know, I'm doing it and I love that I'm doing it because I rewatch the videos after I do them. And I'm like, yeah, that motherfucker went and did that shit and I'm proud of him. And it makes you want to do more. And if you're feeling how I'm feeling, then share that shit. Share that shit, share that shit, share that shit. I love you all, man. Really do. I really do. I know it's still early, but y'all are really, really, really keeping me going. And I'm very, very thankful for you, for you all. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow.